So I've been neglecting my YouTube channel lately. Uh, I've been making sporadic videos here and there. Is what it is. Because uh, I found myself on Facebook most of the time. Uh, most of my news feed uh, is... Uh, uh, most of my wall on Facebook is a news feed. Uh, not a lot of sleep either. Um, and instead of making a video talking about some of the news like I used to do, uh, I've just been hitting share and commenting on the Facebook post. And, uh, uh, it seems satisfying until I think, oh, I should have said, should talk about something like that or something about that. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, this morning as I was going down my Facebook wall, like I do, uh, there was a post where a prosthetic third arm was being used by a drummer. Both of his arms worked fine. So he's playing along, and he had a strap-on shoulder pad, like of, of a shoulder armor thing from the, the, the Middle Ages, the Greek shoulder pad, and then it had a robotic arm that came off of that, and he had a strap around his forehead. And he, he was able to direct that arm to play, and it was sensing what he was doing with his other arms, so it was very much, if anybody is familiar, and I think anybody watching this video is going to be familiar with Dr. Octopus's, uh, Dr. Ox, uh, tentacles on his back, where they were semi-self-aware and would help him do things and he could control them. Uh, so it was very much like that. So seeing that single robotic arm, and it was really rough, of course, because it's, you know, it's not a comic book, it's just coming out. But it was absolutely amazing looking. And uh, uh, for me, a, a confirmation of things that I, I see uh, that I'm anticipating happening in the future. Uh, no, no original ideas from me. They're just uh, things that I've read and uh, in reading science fiction and, and reading uh, futuristic uh, uh, books by futurists picking out some of the technologies that I think are going to most likely happen. Uh, and this is, is one of them. And I think it's going to be more life changing than people give it credit for, uh, being an evil supervillain. Uh, sure. That's, that's high on my list. That, that, that would be handy. <laughs> um, but in, also watching other videos this morning, I, I'm also subscribed to a e-bike and e-bike uh, uh, reviewer, and most of his videos, he's on an e-bike holding, uh, I, I guess, a sort of selfie stick and pointing it at him while he's trying to work this e-bike one-handed, and you see him switch hands and, and then point it down, and he's riding a bicycle. Uh, and I was thinking how fantastic it would be if he had one of those robotic arms holding his camera and that he could just control to point where he want while he was fumbling with the, the controls. Instead of doing it one-handed, he could actually ride it like a bicycle. Uh, I would imagine drones are going to have some role in that, but this is something a little more stable, a little more direct control. Uh, and you could also have a spoon, somebody, that, of course, the, the people that have disabilities, uh, have lost the use of an arm or something like that are going to benefit, of course. <clears throat> so without that, that goes without saying. Uh, but for people that don't have disabilities to expand our abilities, uh, I, I think it's going to be just as revolutionary uh, to not necessarily have a third arm, but maybe a, uh, a couple tentacles that can hold things, uh, not necessarily hand grasp, but something you could, just other appendages or strap on wings uh, that you control. And it, it, apparently the arm gave you some sort of feedback also. So you, you felt like you were using it like a, like a regular arm. 
So imagine being able to put on uh, a, a backpack or something with wings on it and actually use it for wings uh, or, or something like that. Uh, I, I think that's going to become more and more uh, prevalent uh, and, and just expanding our abilities with technology. I, I think this is uh, <clears throat> what we've been doing all throughout time of uh, Ray Kurzweil is uh, uh, famous for talking about uh, the first time a monkey grabbed a stick and used it to get a, 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 some fruit out of a tree, we were extending our physical beings uh, using that tool as part of our, our physical being. These new robotic, uh, semi-self-aware or at least controlled, mind-controlled robotics that we can attach to ourselves, uh, I think are going to be just as profound as when we first picked up a stick and poked at fruit in a tree. Thought of the day, I'm going to try and get more of these thoughts out as I'm reading articles instead of just uh, posting or sharing them on Facebook and writing a little blurb. I'm, I'm, that seems to be less satisfying than doing a video and talking about something. I, I still feel that I have to get it off my chest. <laughs> so, uh, have a great day. Peace. Vote. Vote.